everybody, this is Renee Tomsack McCombs from the Online Mastery Team coming to you live today from Fort Myers, Florida. I'm going to take you through one of Mark Hoverson's Solomon CEO's $10 million plus reviews. And it so happens to be code number four, which is minimum and maximum. So come on, follow me and let's get started. <laughs> everybody welcome back thank you so much for sticking around today what well, like I said we're what we're going to do is a review of Mark's Mark Hoverson's Solomon CEO 10 million dollar plus on minimum and maximum so what Mark Hoverson does during this training is speak directly on minimum and maximum he hits upon so many areas that many entrepreneurs take her granted or some of you may not even have thought about. The first thing that he does is talk about excavation, meaning how, how you read the text, how the text actual reads in the Solomon scriptures and, and then he teaches us how to, to apply the minimum and maximum to the imagination. For instance, one of the examples that Mark used is if you want to chop a tree down, what type of tool are you going to bring with you? If the axe is dull, then you absolutely, most definitely need more effort. So more effort is required. But with wisdom, it makes your achievement faster. It not only came from Mark, it came from one of the scriptures. So if you bring a dull axe to chop down a tree, do you know how much effort you're putting into there do you know how much how much more frustrated you're going to become you're going to be swinging and swinging and swinging and do you know how much more frustrated you're going to become do you know how much more energy that you're going to use do you know how much more tired you're going to become because of the energy and all of the frustration and all of the stress because the axe isn't working you don't have the right tool but if you were to have the wisdom and the insight to bring with you a sharp axe. Now your task of cutting down the tree is one of less effort, pretty much a little effort. You're gonna swing and it's gonna start chopping away at that tree. It's gonna cause you less stress. It's gonna cause you less frustration. And what it's gonna do is create more time, more time for you to do the things that you enjoy, more time to put, it, it, in, in essence, it's faster, easier, more satisfying, and more gratifying. So if you take a look at that tool, whether it be a sharp axe or a video or anything that you use in your business, whatever your business may be, and the way that Mark looks at it, he calls it a wealth creation tool. Okay? A wealth creation tool. How genius is that? So let me ask you a question. Would you rather work really hard oh, and swing that axe? to cut that tree down because you really didn't think about it ahead of time? Or would you rather work fast and efficient because you had the right tool to use? Of course you would, I know the answer to that already. Absolutely. We can work smart, which is minimum, the minimum amount of effort for the maximum results. The minimum amount of effort for the maximum result. So, what I'm saying to you, and something that I gave, got out of Mark Hoverson's training, is because the choice is yours, make sure that you choose the right tools to enhance your business. S speed of the diligent, okay? Now something else that Mark talked about is when you plant, make sure you plant the right seeds. You can plant and plant and plant and plant and plant all that you want and put all this hard work and effort into it and harvest a small little crop. But if you were to plant just a small amount with a strong seed, then your harvest, my friends, is going to be plentiful. This is what Mark calls a prosperity condition. So remember, when minimum and maximum are being discussed, a minimum effort that is effective will bring you the maximum results, and that is what we are looking for. For example, 
if you're hosting a party and just say for instance because he used a lot of different examples but this is just one of my own personal examples if you're hosting a party and you want to serve some fruit and you want to serve some snacks you're, you're not going to put bowls of fruit around just whole pieces of fruit this is a way to minimize and get the maximum results what you're going to do is because let me tell you first of all a lady is not going to pick up a, an apple and smudge her lipstick and eat that whole apple a child is not going to most children some may it's not going to finish that whole can of soda that they have if you have a whole loaf of bread nobody wants to take the first slice because they don't want to put their fingers on it they, they're cut up the fruit serve it on a nice platter the lady's going to then walk over and nibble children will nibble on it pick what they want get different bottles of soda pour they can pour what they want waste not want not cut up the bread serve some dip with it so then people will only take what they want and what this is going to do for you is it's going to increase your profits because you're minimizing your expenses <laughs> so my friends value your money and your profits understand completely that profits are the center of innovation what you also must understand is just as our body needs nutrition our business needs nutrition okay one of the things that mark also said about minimizing maximizing is that you don't have to do everything all four floors 100 percent at once and this this is what really hit home to me because i keep saying i'm going to go for a walk i'm going to walk an hour every day i'm going to walk an hour every day i'm going to walk an hour every day but right now i'm having a problem finding an hour to walk so he said in his thing start with 20 minutes start with 15 minutes start with 10 minutes but just do something the minimum if you start now you're you're maximizing your results because of a minimum effort so just as your body needs n nutrients and nutrition your business needs nutrients and nutrition just as your body needs to dispose of those toxins your business needs to dispose of those the toxins daily the people that are negative the people that may mess with your positive mindset, the people that are draining you are people that you need to reevaluate because time is precious. You need to focus on what you need to do for your business to make your clients happy. And if it's a client that's draining your energy, put that client aside and reevaluate that if it's worth it. Only you can make that choice. And this way, you're getting rid of unnecessary frustration. Now what I want you to do is let your imagination take over and pretend that your tools are so sharp, just like the sharp axe in the wealth creation example that I used a little bit ago, actually that Mark used a little bit ago. What tools do you need? What tools do you need to create wealth creation before you take on a new client? Do you need videos? Do you need testimonials? Do you need social media posts? Do you need, you know, a whole platform in place? Now let me ask you another question. What tangible physical tools do you need for that business? Do you need a, a bigger, better office? Do you need new computer? Do you need a new phone? Do you need new customer service? There are so many different things. Do you need a new car? Do you need a new vehicle? If that's what your business is, if you're in the brick and mortar business, you know, there are so many different businesses that Solomon CEO 10 million plus is just an asset to him. When you talk about minimum efforts to maximize your results, it's absolutely huge. So my friends, remember, minimum effective effort to produce maximum results and practice this each and every day and then you are on your way to creating your success and your wealth and a quicker faster pace with less effort than a lot of other entrepreneur and business people out there everybody this is Ray Tom Zach McCombs signing off live from Fort Myers Florida with the on my online mastery team I want you to click the link below to find out how you 
can get access to this absolutely fabulous training. Mwah! Much love, everybody. Create a great day. <laughs>